Well, um, good to see you all. Nice to have you with us. If you're new with us today, so uh, my name's Jordan, and I'm one of the pastors here at Holy Trinity. I get to minister alongside Vivian, who you met earlier, and a number of others here. Um, if I haven't met you, please introduce yourself to me afterwards. I'd love to connect and, uh, and just get to know each other a little bit. Uh, a few things, a few announcements coming up. The first is that next Sunday, we're going to have a special baptism service. Uh, the Walshes, so look, Casey, who's nine years old, and Zachary, who's three years old, are going to be getting baptized. And since they are getting baptized, we decided let's design a special kind of interactive service where we keep the elementary kids in us, in with us the whole time, because that's always a good idea. And we're just going to have a grand time together. So we're going to rearrange the chairs. We're going to set up a space here. And um, we're going to do kind of a special lesson, small sermon that engages the kids in some particular ways and then culminates in baptism with this lovely family. So really looking forward to this next week. And in your kind of announcement sheet, provided you with a little prayer from, from St. Augustine that he wrote for children. Um, and I thought we'd just include that so that this week we can be praying this prayer for Casey and for Zachary in particular. Now, as we are about to journey to the table, um, I just wanted to talk about flow because I messed it up last week, so I'm trying to get it straight in my own head so that you can join me in that. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is have two communion servers um, up front here. Um, and then in terms of sections, we're gonna work our way from the middle to the outside in sections. So we'll serve the middle sections, then the outer ones. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna make the center aisle our kind of loop flow center. Uh, so center aisle, loop flow center, that's a good word, I just made it up. Um, and so basically we'll have you go from whatever row you're in, you will basically come uh, from the outside and come to the servers that are here and then loop through the center aisle back to your seats and we'll try to kind of do things that way. So if that doesn't make sense, just walk to people that have bread and wine. And we'll get there. Um, we have some prayer ministers that are going to be set up at a table over there during uh, Eucharist as well as after the service because we want to be a community of encouraging one another, inter interceding on one another's behalf, and blessing one another. So that will be available. And uh, a third thing is that as Vivian was talking about reconnecting, um, a member of our congregation, Becky Human um, and Jesse Human and their little girls, Clementine and Penny, said, you know what, wouldn't it be great to have a picnic together as a church? And um, so they have organized this last week, uh, a kind of HTC splash and play picnic day on Saturday, August 7th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it's at... Um, Sigler Park in Westminster, and it's basically a place where there's a, sp a splash kind of play area for kids. There's also lots of dry area for those of you that don't want to splash. Um, I know that's Bill's favorite thing, so he's looking forward to it. Um, so anyways, just want to put that on your, on your thing. It's kind of bring your own food, bring your own games, and we're going to kind of have that time to reconnect uh, together. So I think that's about all that we have. Um, just one final thing is as you exit the service, you'll notice that on that long table that is in the middle of the kind of foyer, which I love, because it just, the say you come in and celebrates the sense of like sitting around the table together and a big one, so it's a big family that's supposed to be around it. So the symbolism is so rich. But on the end of it, there is a, um, a prayer quilt. Um, that uh, Kathy Gatewood has made for Diana Stewart, um, which uh, Judy and Vivian, it's one of the members of their family. They, they lost a member of their family a, a couple months ago, and it's, it's, uh, it was her husband. And so this is a prayer quilt for her. And what we kind of want to do is as we exit the door that people can walk by and tie a knot on that quilt and say a prayer for Diana Stewart and for her two children. Um, in this season of grief. And then we're going to give that quilt to her and say, the community has prayed and is praying for you. And each one of these knots represents a concrete prayer. So just wanted to let you know that that's available um, and just a concrete way to bless somebody.